All right, how's it going, guys? Diamond here, and today we're back with another plugin showcase. Where today's plugin showcase is on Wild Chest. Now, Wild Chest is basically a plugin where it can add different varieties of chest into your Minecraft server. Basically, meaning you can have different type of chests, such as an auto crafter, a link chest, a large chest, a cell chest, and a storage unit. If you guys want to check out the plugin for yourself, you can check it out in the description down below. But other than that, I'm going to show you guys how the plugin works fully functional, and we're going to hop into config at the end of it. So. What we need to do is first figure out a way to get the chest and that's a really simple all you have to do is slash chest give and then the player name and then you got to give the type of the chest so we have a linked chest so you have to put linked underscore chest if i can actually put an underscore correctly we have a large chest a cell chest a auto crafter and a storage unit so these are all different type of chests we're gonna start with the link chest this is the one that actually took me the longest to understand but the way it works is you place down a chest and then you place down another one for example far away say if this was further away all you have to do is slash chest link and then you go to the next one and then do it again and then once you open it as you can see it's even opening the other one which is pretty epic meaning if i put anything in here it will come over here so it'll only work between these two so this is a really nice simple way if you want to for example set up a mob farm or anything like that and you want to put a hopper into one chest link it all the way down to another one and then link these two and then continue from there it's really that simple but yeah we also have the large chest and basically this one's pretty self-explanatory if we take a look into a normal chest you can see right here it has three rows with nine but and then if you put another one this becomes a large chest with six rows of nine meaning this one right here has a full six rows being only one meaning you will save both space and resources so this is a really nice i love how there's different type of chests and they're all not exactly the same now a cell chest is a bit different and it works in a different matter say for example you have a skyblock server or faction server with a mob farm and it would be iron golems because that's the most common thing and you put a lot of iron in there or even gold for example now the way it works is it doesn't sell automatically straight away after a certain amount of period i believe which is 10 minutes do correct me on this if i am wrong but a certain amount of minutes and it'll automatically sell all of it so all we really gotta do is leave it in there and then after a while it will form a message that we have sold that unit so basically let's go to the next one which is the auto crafter so all we gotta do is place it down and in the configuration it is set up that it will craft a golden ink all you really need to craft golden ingots in minecraft is golden nuggets you can change whatever you want and allow it on the server to craft so i'm gonna go ahead and place all of this here let it close and then open it up again and what do you know we got 56 golden ingots so i of course can amplify this as well by making it even bigger so say for example i had a gold farm let all that go in there and then there it's done it automatically crafted everything for us so if i break that it'll give us everything back the way it should and it's really that simple. all these chests are very unique in their own way then we also have the storage unit so as you can see here the storage unit so pretty much the description for the storage unit is chest in the mode will have a limited amount of storage but only one specific item so pretty much means i can fill it up with any type of item that i want but it's only ever gonna be that one item meaning this can be an infinite amount of storage but the catch is it's only gonna be one item. specific for iron farms this would be a huge resource saver and you could add this to your shop you could add this about to any fans because right there data will save this is pretty much when the items would have been sold we're pretty much gonna go and check out the config and i can show you guys everything in there all right so opening up the folder pretty much here you just have the config which is basically the most important thing and here you can change about every single thing so basically this is between the saves on the server regarding the plugin and this right here in ticks is how long it will go between until it notifies you that it sold all the items in the chest for the cell chest configuration and then this is a chest test if you want to enable it or not a confirmed gy to proceed with the chest purchase so you do have more options like that and even sell chest commands so it will run a command towards a player if they after it's sold if you're not using shop gui or, or essentials you can also add your own prices right here and this is basically all the different chest types you can change things such as the pricing the names the items everything regarding it it's really that simple it's not a complex 
to learn plugin and you guys can get this fairly done in about five minutes so there you go guys that was the whole video right there hope you guys have enjoyed if you guys have make sure to smack that like button if you guys haven't yet make sure to subscribe and leave your ideas of the next video in the comment section down below so other than that hope you guys have enjoyed i'm diamond and make sure to check out the plugin for yourself and i'll see you guys next time cheers Oh, 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 oh,